This guy left the comedy said, I'm a mature 50 plus former brokenhearted, educated lame who has made every stupid mistake a man can make in dating. My transformation was an act of generosity by a very successful escort manager. So he hired an escort to help him the ropes. Over a period of eight to nine months, doing exactly what I was taught, no matter how challenging or contrary to my twisted dating perspective, turned a fuzzy worm into a firebird. And that's the thing I try to stress to you guys. Like some of the stuff that I'm teaching you guys, it's gonna, when you first do it, it's gonna feel weird, unnatural, dishonest. And, and really those feelings come from, you're not in the habit of doing it. And so it's not built into you to do those things. So it's gonna feel awkward. And at times it's gonna feel as though this isn't your real self. The way you are right now is based on years of you doing a bunch of different actions and saying a bunch of different things over and over again, right? And so the way you are now is very comfortable and you're thinking you came to that and now this is your authentic self. No, who you are right now is based on years of you doing things that you decided over time gel well with your personality, which is why as adults, it gets a lot harder and harder to meet new people, to take up new activities, and to learn how to do things differently with women. Because at, once you get past 25, your brain's pretty much like, we're good. I got to learn nothing else anymore. I am fine as I am. And anything that, that pushes against that makes us feel like we're not ourselves, which makes us feel like we're lying. And so I want you to understand that is a normal part of the learning new things process. But I assure you, what feels weird to you now, as I'm teaching it to you, is going to be perfectly fine later on. Just like the guy earlier where he said, like, you know, he said the thing about um, um, he started texting less and then women started to reach out to him more. Well, I'm pretty sure that when he started texting less, he was that didn't feel good. It didn't feel like the normal thing. It felt like I'm lying to women when I'm not texting him as much. But because he's gotten benefits from that, he now sees how that habit of not reaching out so much results in good things happening. And so as a guy, I stress to you. You're going to learn a lot of things from me, maybe from some other gurus that sound like they're crazy. You know, I know people come in here. Well, you're saying wait four days after a date to text a girl. Oh, my God, that's lying. That feels weird. But I've done it long enough to know it doesn't feel weird to me. And that when I do it, girls respond positively. So but when I first started doing that, it felt like Doc Love saying wait nine to five days. Are you freaking insane? But I, I did it. I've literally had it where I've waited eight, nine, ten days between dates to reach out to, to a woman. And the result was cool. Let's go out again. So it's going to feel weird. But as I tell you guys, when you learn the stuff, before you just completely dismiss it, it's like, that's not me or whatever like that, practice it a few times, even if you think it's going to be the most craziest thing. Because, hey, if what you're doing right now is not working, the worst thing that will happen when you try some of my stuff is you'll get the same results. And you'll be right back at square one, at which point you can go back to doing the old stuff that wasn't working because the new stuff you tried didn't work either. But if it works on any level, rather than being like, it works, and oh, but women shouldn't fall for this, how dare they? Just think to yourself, huh. It worked. It felt weird, but it worked. If I do it again, will it work again? And I assure you, as you get more successes with the things that I'm teaching you, you'll 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 feel more happy about the fact that it worked more so than like, but it didn't, it wasn't something you thought. Of. I think the reason guys get hurt honestly is because if it's not their idea, they think that therefore it's dishonest. Guy, we're gonna get ideas about how to do things from different places. It's perfectly fine if up to this point you were not able to think of some of the concepts that I, that I teach you guys. Because I didn't know this up at one point either, you know. But as I learned it and it worked, I was like, you know what? Let me not brush this off or be like, if that's not me, just just learn it worked. So let this do it be a thing you do regularly till it feels like a natural part of who you are, you know. So anyway, I say all that to say this guy then said what I think is the most important part here, which he says one of the most important lessons I was taught was something I was also taught in my corporate sales training, which is women buy into a relationship for their reasons, not yours. Now, I have compared dating to sales a lot on here because, true to form, Doc Love, one of the ways I got to understand dating better was when he said dating is like sales. Now, people, especially women, don't like to hear that because they like to think, well, no, because sales is so different from women. You're trying to say you're trying to sell people, which is manipulating, blah, 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 blah. All these things are parallel, right? So in terms of what he said, uh, women buy into a relationship for their reasons, not yours. In the sales world, I could go out there with the world's best knives. I sold Cutco. I think to this day, they're still the best knives you will ever buy. They need to pay me a sponsorship for how much I talk about them, right? But me going into a home and saying, oh my God, these knives are the best knives ever. And I think they're great because X, Y, and Z. It's not going to sell somebody that doesn't cook. It's not going to sell somebody that doesn't chop anything. Like the person that I'm trying to sell to 
needs to want to buy the knives because they see a need for it in their lives, not because I want them to have the knives, you know? And so true to form with women, you could want the woman you're across from all day long. You can be stressing her, but you're so pretty and beautiful and I can see you in my life and I think we have great children. I really, really want you. But the woman doesn't care. And I said this on here and men get offended like, you know, oh, yeah, we shouldn't be, just have to date because of things that she wants. But the reality is if you're trying to get a woman, she's not going to date you out of pity. She's not going to hook up with you out of pity. Some will, but most aren't. Most are going to be trying to figure out nice ways to get rid of you and ghost you. Because at the end of the day, women are going to date you for the reasons that they see fit. So you could think you want her in your life because you could see her gelling with your family, but does she like your family? Does she like how you talk to her? Does she like the way that you make her feel when you're on dates? Does she look at you? If she's looking for somebody that's going to be a masculine guy that displays leadership qualities, are you showing up as that guy? Because if you're showing off as the, showing up as a docile, nice guy who's going to put her on a pedestal and she doesn't want that, you could try to persuade her all day as to why you're such a great guy and all the exploits about you. She don't care. She don't care about you. She cares about does she the, 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 are the things that you're showing her make her feel like you're the kind of guy for her. And so we as guys do a disservice to ourselves and to women. We're sitting there. I've been on dates with women across the table from me that I knew didn't like me. And yet I'm going to be on this date and try to make her see why by the end of the date she needs to like me and want to date me. Never happened. Because if she started off not wanting to be there, all me talking about how Graham's going to do is be like, okay, he's so full of himself, but it's not going to make persuade her now to want me. She has to feel a thing for me and see the greatness in me that is going to work for her to want that to happen. This is why I'm not a big proponent of like, you know, the whole like you chase a woman, you know, women are like, oh, I want to be chased. Like you chase a woman down and try to like, you know, do things for her and all this stuff. Why? Because women that have high interest in you are already going to be on your plan. You know, women that have high interest are going to want to show up at the right time. They're not going to need you to reconfirm a date. They're not going to need you to give X, Y, and Z reason as to why you're such a great guy. They're not going to need to be uh, persuaded into the bedroom. Like women that have high interest will just like you and want to do those things already. But also, also, you can also force a woman that has high interest in you to lose interest when you start trying to pile on stuff. You're trying to over compliment. You're trying to overdo and overextend and all of the stuff to whereby now you're giving the hard sale. And much like in sales, women don't like the hard sale. They want to think they're coming to see you and just they're having a natural build report. And it's like I said at the beginning of this slide where I went to the family reunion and I met my, my brand new relatives for the first time, like a lot of the, like the younger nephews and stuff like that, that I hadn't met before. And like, I'm not trying to go over there. Hey, I'm uncle so-and-so. Nice to meet you. Blah, blah, blah. I do. I go over there. Hey, what you up to? Oh, Minecraft. What's that about? Oh, you know what? You know about this thing about Minecraft and also blah, 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 blah. Okay. Boom. I walk off and out of this, like this, this, this adult came over, like asked me about Minecraft and like, was really like kind of a cool guy. And he just went away. Like I, I, I want to, I want to hang time with him. I didn't have to sell them. I just became interested in what they were interested in. I showed a little bit of personality and then I let them decide if they wanted more interaction with me. Whereas other relatives at the, at the family reunion were trying so hard. Hey, so-and-so, Oh, come hug me, come kiss me. And they're like, Oh, stay away. I literally, one of my cousins was a woman and there was a younger cousin of mine uh, who was not trying to touch anybody. Didn't want anybody to pick him up other than his mama and his closer aunts, right? And so again, this, this cousin of mine's new stimuli to this younger cousin, she's all like, I'm trying to kiss you. I'm trying to hug you. And he keeps running away. I walked over and like, hey, dude, what's up? High five, boom, walked away. And now he's trying to work to me. Hey, pick me up. Hey, hug me, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have to do a hard sell because I just knew if I just try to show, hey, I'm around. You seem like a cool dude, whatever, and then walk off. I let them decide. This is it's a very important lesson, guys. Ultimately, in sales, you just show enough for the other prospect to feel as though they're making the decision to choose you and that they're the ones that are making the decision. Even though you're going to be doing things that make it easier for them to choose you, but you're not trying to do such a hard sale because, again, we're trying to figure out on that first date, for example, like what she's into and what she's about and what she's looking for. But we're not trying to act like we're going to, we need this intel so we can be that guy. No, you're finding out just to, trying to get a, a general idea about what she's wanting, but that doesn't mean you have to turn to that guy or suddenly be, you know, the complete opposite of who you are, you know? And so, yeah, as this guy learned, if you let women come to you at their own pace, and start thinking of reasons and ways that they like you and setting things up to where they want to reach out to you more to where they're basically selling themselves on you. Dating becomes a whole lot easier. Now, if you need help with that stuff, 
you can always go and join the Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which I've talked about extensively, but needs to say, in addition to getting all this wonderful knowledge, you will get to have more access to me. We have regular lives. We have chats and discussions with other men in that group that will help you to have more behaviors that are going to be uh, helpful in the dating realm as it pertains to you getting women. So you can join that at the thing, all right? You the bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.